Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly for pricing. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a rarity outside of the Japanese domestic market. Built for the Japanese domestic market exclusively, this is the Crador Spring Drive Big Date Handwind GCLP993. Crador, known as the Lexus to Grand Seiko's Toyota, it is an exclusive and rare brand in international markets, and it benefits from association with the extraordinary minute repeaters, Grand Sonnerie, and H1 and H2 porcelain dial Opus style watches that come out of the Micro Artist Studio. Crador has always been cut from that cloth, and as I mentioned, benefits from association with those Grail level watches. But there are more Crador models available inside Japan where there are more mid upper tier Crador watches that are a little bit more affordable but still benefit from the halo effect and this is one of those. A timepiece 38 millimeters in Zeratsu hand polished stainless steel, 9.9 millimeters thick and from lug tip to lug tip, 43.7 millimeters with an 18 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Because this watch is designed for the Japanese domestic market, the size and the proportions are a little bit more compact and traditionally dress elegant. As you can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the watch wears very very well. Super slim and easily sliding underneath the cuff. You can see from overhead the lugs are nowhere near the edge of my wrist and from down the barrel the lugs fall far short of the edge of my wrist. So this watch is suitable for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters in circumference. The strap is a handsome piece. We'll get a little bit closer, take a look at the hardware and the software. It is alligator leather made in Japan like the rest of the watch. Large rectangular scale on top, semi-gloss, monotone stitch, folded edge, some bolstering to give it volume. As you can note, this is a Crador factory strap in brand new condition, and it is Crador branded. We also have a Crador crown branded folding clasp for security against droppage while donning or removing. The case is simple but strong. Channeling the elegance of 1950s and 60s Swiss dress watches, as well as pioneering Grand Seikos, here we have sharp breaks between the case band and the lugs. Everything here polished on a spinning tin plate, a Zalitz machine buffing technique known as Zeratsu finish at Grand Seiko. Crador and Seiko, and it creates a mirrored shine that is truly handcrafted, making this watch one of the rare sub $10,000 watches that truly is hand finished. The crown has a lovely and bespoke double knurling, and then there is that Crador logo externally. The watch includes a stop seconds or hacking function, as well as a double digit date with a quick set function. Now the watch has a lovely champagne coloration to the date wheels that contrasts subtly but handsomely with the rich white lacquer of the dial. The indices as well as the hands have been finished manually by artisans who specialize in these components and they use micrometric diamond tipped milling tools to create the polish and the fastening you see on these hands and indices. There is a power reserve scale on the dial, manual wind, this watch has a power reserve scale for its 48 hour manual wind reserve to mosh. All of this 30 meters water resistant. This is spring drive caliber 7R87. 48 hour power reserve, quick set date, hacking seconds, 30 joules. It uses the unique spring drive system that is a hybrid of mechanical and quartz watchmaking. So it has the soul of mechanical as all of the energy as well as all of the motion provided by the spring itself. A unidirectional governing wheel, which you can see right here, rotates, creating an induced electrical current that wakes up a quartz oscillator, and that in turn uses a back electromagnetic force, or back EMF, to govern the speed of the governing wheel. The wheel takes its energy from the barrel, and on the other side, it's geared to the hands. So if the wheel gets too fast, the electromagnetic force increases and slows it down or breaks it, and vice versa if it grows too slow. This allows the watch using spring energy to achieve accuracy of plus or minus 15 seconds per month, just like a quartz watch. It's the best of both worlds, and this is a lifetime movement designed to last not just the lifetime of the owner, but the lifetime of the watch generations. It's also handsomely decorated and designed. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.